what's going on guys, Dan here, and I just wanted to turn the camera on and talk. I've, I've had so many video ideas recently, and I start filming them and working on them, but then I just end up throwing the idea out, and a lot of it has to do with a lack of self-confidence. If you've watched my videos, you probably have seen me talk about this in the past, how I... I'm not happy with my appearance, um, and I know that's not like the important thing, but I just feel so badly about the way I look that I just, like I feel messed up about how I look, and I just don't want to show that to people. But at the same time, I think Vulnerability is what makes YouTube, part of what can make YouTube vulnerability and transparency and these kind of things are some of the reasons I go to watch the people that I watch. Um, there's a certain kind of rawness with YouTube compared to cable television or other forms of media, and the same goes for podcasts. I was thinking earlier today about how I wish I had a better camera, wish I had a better microphone. But it's it's not even about all that, because you can make good content with bad equipment. It depends on your message, what you're what you're offering to somebody. But pretty much for like the last six months feels like a lot longer than that, but specifically the last six months I've been out of work, living in the middle of nowhere with my parents because my car broke down and I got laid off from the job I was working. And what I really want to do is, is what everyone else and what most people on this website want to do is make a business make a living doing videos and I love making videos but I always have this obviously I gotta pay my bills and my money has run very thin over the last few months and I need to support myself so it's like do I get real about my talent on this platform and, and my if I'll ever be successful, or do I try even harder to make videos? And it's a hard balance because I think I'm going to end up having to get a job, but around here in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> there's not many options. And I want to do something that I enjoy doing, and I know that making these videos, there's definitely people out there that get something from my videos, and I'm not asking anybody for anything, this isn't about donations or anything, it's just about me venting, you know, how I'm feeling and, and what's going on. There's never been any stability in this channel, and really, my life is a reflection of that lack of stability, you know. I guess that's, yeah, maybe more so in my life than the average, but it's like, where can you find any stable ground in this life? What can you depend on to get you through another day? Where is the job security that my, my parents graduated to? Where are the jobs? You know, everybody was always told when they were younger, you can be anything you want when you grow up. Be anything you want. But as I've gotten older, it's like, is that delusional thinking? Or can I be anything I want as long as I can give my life and my comfort and, and all of those things up in pursuit of it? It feels like there's got to be some sort of struggle or some sort of like breaking down of everything you are and putting it into whatever you're doing especially if it's a creative endeavor in order to be successful in whatever that looks like 
And I feel like my whole life, <laughs> my whole life has been a, a big trial. You know, everybody goes through shit in their lives, but I've been through a lot of shit over the last 10, 20 years. I've been through a lot of shit that I know most people don't go through. Um, and I'm not asking for sympathy, but it's like, I've been through so much shit, yet I can't make art. I can't make art on the level, at least right now, I'm not making art on the level that I'm able to survive off of it. I've had to start selling my possessions in order to sustain myself, and at the same time, if you don't have anything to show for what you're doing, nobody around you takes you seriously, you know? Of course, if you become successful, then those people are like, oh, I knew you could do it. You know, I've had a few people that have been very supportive of me and, and whatever I'm doing and encourage me. Some people say, you know, you're going to make it doing whatever. And I don't, I don't know if, if they really mean that, and it's hard for me to believe that, but I think if you actually believe something, it shapes your actions, whatever that may be. If it's trying to be successful on YouTube, or if it's trying to just be successful in your work, if you believe something, then your actions will show it. It's like, belief is an active thing. You know, you can stop believing, but you don't, don't stop believing like that old song. You know, don't stop. I'm not going to sing, but you know what I'm talking about. But believing, it's like, I have to wake up, get out of bed, tell myself I believe that I can succeed. And honestly, a lot of days I do not believe that. And it's probably evident through the work I create when I'm not confident, you know. Like I said, I've had so many ideas. I have a file folder full of hundreds of videos. Not all different videos, but some of them are, you know, 20 videos is a, something I'd upload. But I just never uploaded them, and I've written all these scripts out, and I've got all these ideas, but I just need to start doing it. But I think what I need to overcome is that doubt and that denial of my abilities. But I think doubt is a completely natural thing. I mean, you look at the most beautiful people in the world who society, by society's standards, and even those people have their insecurities, or maybe the most beautiful people aren't as developed internally. Maybe they're sociopaths. And there is a sort of balance to everything in life, in a strange way, you know? I started this blog that has gotten thousands of followers by posting uh, about a specific topic and just kind of like aggregating posts from all around the internet on this topic and even making some of my own content, doing articles and writing on it and putting a lot of work into it. And I got a lot of followers off it, but those followers, they don't care about anything I post. Like anything that has to do with, hey, I'm doing this video on my channel. Nobody. They're just there for the topic that I'm writing about that's another channel. It's another, it's a, it's a fan blog for a channel I really like. And I didn't think that anybody was going to follow it. When I started doing the blog, there was nobody writing about it. And now it's got thousands and thousands of, of followers and growing very quickly, but I don't want to do it anymore, really. Because I feel like now that it's grown and I'm trying to put my content in there, here and there, it's like my intentions have changed. Like, I used to be posting there because I liked posting there, but now it's like, maybe I can share this YouTube video I made and someone will watch it, but nobody watches it. They just scroll past it. And there's so much content out nowadays on all the social media platforms. I'm not going to list them all, but you know, there's way more content than anybody has time to watch. Way more. And you have to be really selective with what you're making. And if people don't like your videos, then why would they watch? So I think one thing I can do is be transparent. And, and just say what's going on because I'm in a position where I have nothing to lose. I can only gain from whatever I'm doing. 
Um, I, I really have nothing to lose, and there's actually there's a there's a freedom in not having anything to lose, and and using that to your advantage, and and knowing what your strengths and weaknesses are. And I definitely know what my weaknesses are, but I'm only just discovering strengths, and it's very hard for me to pat myself on the back to any degree, but I, I just need to focus and, and kind of decide what's this channel going to be? Is it going to be all podcasts? Is it going to be all video games? Is it going to be all news stories? But that's kind of where you guys come in, because I'd like to know if you subscribe to me, if you like my videos, what videos do you like the most? What should I do on this channel? And if you have any questions at all, um, totally unrelated to the channel, just leave a comment down below. I'll screen screenshot it. And I want to do a video answering questions, depending how I usually don't get very many comments. So I'll reply to everybody that comments, typically, unless they're just a complete jerk. But if you leave a comment, I will read those comments in a future video, um, hopefully in the next week. Um, I might just have to do that at the end of every video, depending how many people comment, but if you're watching this and you like my videos, leave a comment, I'll read it. just want to thank the several people out there who, who come back and watch the videos here. really do appreciate it, and um, yeah, hope you guys have a good weekend. Peace. I'd rather be sad and happy than feel nothing at all. There's a certain kind of joy when you can embrace your sadness, but not cling to your sadness and, and think this is just the way it's going to be from now on. But instead, just allow yourself to feel sad and feel sad and and underneath that, if you if you can feel it and, and if you cry, you don't even have to cry. But if you can embrace that sadness underneath it, there's a profound healing love. There's even if it's crying or or feeling sad for somebody else, there's definitely this very profound and unique beauty in that suffering. And I know it's weird weird to put it like that, but it's like this beauty of, of the ability to love, just to love, whether it's yourself or somebody else, and, and to look at the parts of yourself that make you unhappy, or to see the circumstances that you are in your life, how you're feeling, or whatever, and just say, it's okay. You know, it's going to be okay, and uh, wow, I'm really strong to be able to get through this and to feel these emotions. I think both male and female, or any other gender you want to list, any person, it's always like, especially in Western culture, I don't know how it is elsewhere, there's a sort of a sense of stoicism, like you want to be able to endure everything on your own, but... It's community that builds us up. Iron sharpens iron, so too one man sharpens another, or one woman sharpens another. There's a lot of people who want to become rich and acquire material possessions in spite, in hate, of somebody else. Like They want to get rich and be like, now, now you see, I told you, you missed out, you know? It's it's bizarre because time and time again you hear these people become successful and it's like this thin illusion, you know, those things 
sure, a new car will make you really happy for a little bit, but it's fleeting and the more easy come, easy go, you know, just same with the emotions and it's, I don't know, I think when you have less given to you, you learn to appreciate and be grateful for what you do have more. And I think physical stuff can become an actual emotional burden. The things you, you put around yourself can become weights that distract you from the real you. That's not just this amalgamation of your personality traits. Or people get hurt, maybe a girl breaks up with a guy and she's like, I don't need no man to take care of me. I'm going to be totally self-sufficient. But it's, it's not really coming from a place of clear-mindedness. Not that woman can't be self-sufficient or anything. But if you get hurt and then have this sort of react, reaction where you shut down inside um, and kind of put up the walls... Is it really worth that trade-off? It's like when you're sad and you, your heart breaks, you just let it break. It's like you're letting go of whatever it was that was ultimately causing that reaction. It's hard to, to put a finger on, but simply put, it's like when you cry, you are letting go. And then you just, through that, it's an act of self-care and self-love. Sticks and stones can break my bones, but words can only hurt me if I let them.